Hello and welcome to another episode of Elephant English Podcast. Today we're going to be having a conversation with my mom about music. So the first question is: Do you like music? Yes, I love music. I like to have music playing in the house all of the time. And who's your favourite artist at the minute? Well, I like a lot of artists, but at the moment my favourite is J D Cooper. He's a guitarist, a songwriter, and he sings his own songs too. Have you ever learnt to play a musical instrument? Well, obviously, I learned to play the recorder at school because all children do. But then I didn't learn a new instrument until I was an adult when I started to play the ukulele. Why did you start to play the ukulele? A friend of ours started selling ukuleles. He taught children how to play the ukulele in school. So three members of my family bought ukuleles from him, and we started to learn to play. What instrument do you think is best for children to learn? Then I actually think the ukulele is very good for children to learn because it's not heavy; it's portable, and there are a lot of videos online showing you how to play simple tunes like Jingle Bells. Yeah, so a ukulele is good for children to start on because then they can go on to play the guitar. Yes, because a ukulele only has four strings, whereas a guitar has six. So they get the concept from the ukulele, but then can progress if they want to. And do you think that music should be taught in schools? I think that it's important to teach music in schools, but not necessarily history of music or theory of music. But I think that music appreciation should be taught to all children, and for those who would like to learn an instrument, then they should be given that opportunity. I think that in general, children should have an appreciation of music from different cultures too. Because at my school, for example, when I was younger, we only learn how to play the recorder, so it would have been good to learn how to play the drums or the guitar. Well, I think that a lot of time is wasted in school learning to play the recorder, and not all pupils are interested in it. It's something that you only play at school. You rarely see an adult playing a recorder in a band or in a group. In the next part, I want you to describe a type of music that you like a lot, and you should say what type of music it is, when you first started listening to it, how often you listen to it, and explain why you like it so much. I've always enjoyed pop music, any music that is in the top forty at the moment. My love of music started when I was about nine years old. When my sister used to listen to the radio a lot, and since then I have listened to the top forty nearly every week. And you're very good at music quizzes, aren't you? I would say that's your specialist topic. If you had to do a quiz at something, you would choose music, wouldn't you? Yes, I'm very good at lyrics, and I'm remembering the year of a certain song because I've followed it so keenly. Over the years, I link a song to a particular time in my life or an event. And why do you like music so much? Well, I enjoy singing a lot too, and so I've always enjoyed singing along to the radio and to my favourite songs. So I think that the two things go hand in hand. And how do most people listen to music these days? I think that a lot of people listen to music on their phones, and by streaming songs on Spotify, for example.、Um, you can also listen to the radio wherever you are now, because a lot of radio stations are online. I think it's good as well because you don't actually have to pay, do you? So, if you want to listen to music on YouTube, for example. Then you don't have to buy the groups or the band's album. Yeah, that's true. And if you have a favorite song 
at that moment, you can play it over and over again using YouTube. And the final question is, is live music as popular now as it was 10 years ago? Yes, I think it's more popular now than it was 10 years ago. Because of the streaming that we mentioned before, people aren't buying so many albums or singles. And so the artists and groups aren't earning so much money. So in recent years, more artists have been on tour and there are more festivals now than ever before. So I think that's a good thing, that artists are having to sing live and play live and people enjoy their music more, which might make them buy the album or download the albums in the end. So in today's video, we've talked about music. If you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.